Hello. So there's uh, this old story, and it's about uh, bison and cows, if I'm not mistaken. And basically, when a storm's coming, cows huddle together and run away from the storm. Bison, however, go towards the storm. And by going towards the storm, they get through the storm faster and there's sunshine on the other side. And it doesn't take as long and you go right through it. And then cows are moving with the storm. They're in it for longer. They suffer more, all that stuff. So I had this idea that it's like stress and anxiety. If you act like the bison and those things that are stressing you out and those things that are giving you just like this existential angst. Um, yeah, that was a big word. Uh, <laughs> you know, if you run towards those things and handle those things and do those things and don't run away from them, then it like that's it might be the key to, uh, you know, stress and anxiety and those things. Um, now, I am the laziest person that I know, and I don't at heart I don't want to go and do those things that I don't want to do and there's you know everybody's got those things you need to do this but you don't want to do it so you put it off and then it stresses you and then that and I you know look I do that all the time and I always have and I'm trying not to do that and and by and I and I've noticed that when I do that and I just go and do the freaking thing that I don't want to do I'm so much happier when I'm done with it and stress level just down um so yeah that was an idea i had and also i haven't filmed a video in a while <clears throat> because i've had a lot going on um and also like i'm super super thankful and blessed and 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 everything um to have had this idea and been able to work on it and uh to like pour my time and energy into it especially when everything was going on not having my license and all that stuff um so yeah and then once every kind of the dust settled i mean i'm still going through um you know the court process for my dui and all that crap um but it's you know it is what it is um i i i decided that i wanted to like focus on i doing these things that I need to do, especially with my mom and all her stuff. Um, you know, she, I got to get her Medicaid figured out, food stamps, uh, find a place for her to go because it's really just really not going well at all. Um, uh, it's just been a lot. Um, my truck, I keep having to fix shit on my truck. Um, the rear end went out today and uh, you know, it, uh, so it's at the shop. I'm borrowing my stepsister's car, thank goodness. Um, she is able to let me use this. Um, and it's, you know, it's one thing after another, I swear. Um, also, to my kind of brother in recovery, one of the first people I met going to meetings, uh, he gave me, you know, my first book. Um, I ate breakfast with him every Sunday and he was in my home group and all that. And, um, uh, he died suddenly, uh, last Tuesday, not this past Tuesday, but the one before, uh, heart attack or stroke. I don't know. I don't, he's 52 years old, seemed healthy enough. I mean, had just been to the doctor, in and out of the doctor, getting biopsies and finding out if stuff was cancerous and it wasn't. He just found that out and, and he just dropped dead. Um, I talked to him every single day. He texted me that morning. I was maybe going to see him that night and then I got a call from his phone. It was his fiance that uh, telling me that he was gone and I said, where did he go? What do you mean? And um, yeah, so that really sucked. Struggled with that and still struggling with that, honestly. Um, it really sucks. Uh, and then two days ago, April 20th, um, I took my mom to the emergency room so that she could get her like mood stabilizing meds refilled. Uh, 
and they didn't end up filling it so it was really pointless and when I got home I saw that the upstairs window where she, her room window was open the blinds were all destroyed and uh and and so I knew that my dog had tried to get out of that window and I went in the house and he wasn't in there and then I ran outside screaming and yelling looking for him and I found him laying next to the side of the house next to the air conditioning unit barely alive uh he had jumped out of the second floor window like 15 freaking feet I guess he thought he could fly I don't know I guess I don't know why he did it the window's been open for weeks I, I don't know if it's because we both left. I don't know if it, there was a cat outside and he wanted to get after the cat because my neighbor has like 15 freaking cats and they're everywhere and they freak the dogs out. Anyway, I, I just don't know. But it, I, I had to put him down. And it's probably the hardest thing that I've ever had to do. I mean, really, I'm, I'm struggling so bad just thinking I don't know how long. He, we didn't get home until 2.30 in the afternoon. There's no telling how long he was out there. Um, it's just suffering and in pain. I think the, I think he had a broken neck. So I'm hoping, I don't know how the heck he got to the side of the house. He must have crawled. I don't know. They said they think his neck was broken. I'm sure his back was broken. I mean, his, he was 12 years old. He had bad hips. His, he couldn't hear anymore. Um, his eyesight was starting to go. Uh, I mean, he was getting old. And the son of a bitch thought he could fly, I guess. <laughs> I mean, it's just unbelievable. And anyway, he's gone, and uh, it's been rough. Um, I try, I'm trying to keep myself occupied and going and doing stuff. And um, luckily, I have another dog, and and um, you know, my my ex, we we both keep him, and and I was able to bring him home and, and he stayed with me the first night and that helped and it comes and goes and I'll spall my eyes out for 15 minutes and then I'll forget about it for a while not forget about it but it'll kind of go away but it's been rough um I've just been trying to keep doing what I'm doing and um I just I find I try to find peace and solace in the fact that um, maybe he did break his neck and he didn't suffer in pain and you know he didn't have to get old and hurt and lay around he already laid around a lot but I mean he could still move like he wanted to and apparently thought he could jump out of a freaking second story window <sighs> um, so he didn't have to suffer and get old and, and you know and, and all that and so you know it's a blessing on that front um, I don't know I'm just trying to see the positives. It's tough, but you know, it is what it is. Um, I, you know, <laughs> it's funny. Uh, his name is Blaze, and I named him Blaze because um, I got him in college and I smoked a lot of marijuana in college. And I named him Blaze, and he died on 420. How about that? Uh, also, my other dog, it was his birthday also the same day also two really close friends of mine had their son on the same day so where there is death there is rebirth and there is life and now i'm trying to see that and right now it's a rainy saturday oh and uh it's a rainy saturday and yeah my truck um is now in the shop again and so um yeah it's a lot it's really really a lot my mom is about to drive me insane. But I got to get her Medicaid stuff and get her primary care doctor. And, and that is next on the priority list. I got to get that done. Um, I'm trying to get like, you know, my, my house in order and, and like do this big purge and get all this sh crap from years of living in this house out of the house and like get it down to a minimal amount of shit. Because quite honestly, I don't know. I I just have too much stuff and like when I was on vacation I didn't have that much stuff I had what I needed and it was like so nice so I don't know I kind of want to just like get rid of a bunch of shit and like just live life instead of worrying about shit because we don't need all this shit laying around anyway so yeah I'm good sober uh, it's been like 111 days I think 
Um, there's a cool app. It's called Everything AA. It tracks your time and like it's got books. It's got little reading stuff. It's really really cool. Um, I sent it to a couple of people, um, you know, that that have expressed um, issues with, you know, they're drinking to me and things. So um, check that out. That's really neat. Uh, you know, I don't know. I might film another, you know, more videos soon. Uh, I may not. Um, I have these thoughts that hit me a lot of times, but they're fleeting and, you know, and I remember a lot of stuff, but like, um, I don't know, riding around the car, I, I think about a lot of cool stuff, but I'm driving and I don't want to film the video while I'm driving and things like that. So, but, um, you know, just, I got to get a bunch of shit in order. Um, and then I can pour more time and energy into this. Uh, did, um, get the banner up on the channel, which is neat. Uh, it makes it look way cooler. Um, so big thanks, um, on the help with that. And I did have help on that and, um, very great, you know, grateful for that. Thankful for that. So that's neat. So anyway, I just, I pumped the brakes on everything a little bit because I, you know, I just, I felt like I was being a little overwhelmed and, and, and it was stressing me that like I wasn't filming videos like I was, you know, for that little period of time. And, and, and it, I felt like I was maybe, um, I don't know, not doing what I needed to do, so to say. Um, but you know, I'm just, I, I got to focus on me for a little bit and, and, and life for a little bit. And, and by doing that, I will be able to better, to then better help others. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. So, if you watch this, that means you care, and I love you, and um, thank you for your support, and yeah, we're going to make it. <laughs>